We are back with Teacher Jen, and this is our handwriting and art. This is the book that we are going to use, and on this subject, you need your crayon, your colored pencil, and your eraser. We are going to practice tracing lines. If you are ready, let's start together. Come on! Now we are going to continue practice tracing. For this week, we are going to practice tracing wave lines and a star. So we are going to start from this area. All we have to do is to stroke it down and then go up making a wave, go down again, go up, go up, go down, go down again and go up. Now remember you have to trace the line properly. This is how to make a wave lines. Once you're done, I want you to finish all the remaining wave lines. After you finish, you are going to trace a star. Now to trace a star, we can start from the top, go down, line to the side, and then continue going down. Just follow the broken lines. And there you have you can finish drawing a star. Don't forget to trace also the remaining stars. Once you're done, I want you to bring out your crayon or colored pencils as we are going to color. Now I'm going to start coloring the rabbit. On this picture, I use color pink. Now you can use any colors that you like. I use pink because I like pink. Don't forget to color the picture nicely. Now, once we're done, you can go to the next page. On the next page, we are going to practice writing zigzag. To do the zigzag, if you could remember, trace it by the motion going down, and then go up, and then go down again, and continue this pattern until you reach the finish lines. Don't forget to trace also the remaining zigzag. Now, once you're done, we go on, on this part. We have here an X. This is a combination of slanted lines. So to do this one, you're going to trace a slanted line going down, and then another slanted line on the opposite side. One more time. Slanted line and another slanted line on the opposite side. Finish all the patterns until you reach on the last X. Then bring out with you your colored pencil as we are going to color the picture. This time, I'm going to use the color green. And I'm going to color the hat of the girl. Now remember kids, I want you to color all of the picture to make your art beautiful. Now this is all about tracing lines. That ends our lesson for today. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. If you had fun learning with me, I want you to see you on my next video clip. Goodbye!